What if I told you you were traumatizing your skin? And does vitamin C even work? So about trauma, we all grow up with them and it creates unique individuals like you and me. And the same goes for our skin. Different skin traumas will create different types of dark spots and hyperpigmentation and they typically fall into four main reasons. The first is sun and heat, inflammation, age, and fourth is hormones. And sometimes, maybe, all of the above. <laughs> but. Recently, I've learned one thing that will completely change the way that you treat your dark spots and hyperpigmentation so that the products you use will help fade it quickly and effectively. Look at that fading. I had like three of them here. Quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor or a derm, but I do scour the internet to find all the information for you guys so we can learn together, coupled with my personal experiences, so that you can get a holistic perspective. And super excited because this video is in collaboration with Number in, which is a Korean brand that you guys have asked so much about and I'm really excited to share with you guys a hyperpigmentation focused routine that doesn't use vitamin C and it will be chef's kiss. So let's go. Every one of us produces hyperpigmentation for different reasons. So for example, take Ro and I. Ro has fairer skin. The sun and the heat is her main enemy and it's what creates freckles, dark spots, and just patches of darker skin tone when she's outside. But where I fall into is inflammation. So acne, as we all may know now, is a type of inflammation. And inflammation can also be something like eczema. It can also be a mosquito bite. Have you guys ever realized when you get like a bug bite, it leaves hyperpigmentation? And if you're like, hmm, I'm not in any of those buckets. Well, maybe it's the age and the hormone related hyperpigmentation like my mom and even stress can create it. So no matter how different it might all be, it actually filters down to one thing and that's antioxidants. We might think antioxidants, cool, it's in our skincare, but no, guys. Our skin has all these natural ingredients. So if you look at our sebum, our sebum contains cholesterol, it contains vitamin E, it also has levels of vitamin C as well as fatty acids. And all of these are antioxidants to protect our skin from any sort of harm. So that includes free radicals as well as UV radiation. So every time we step outside, even when we're inside, we're prone to radiation from the sun, including rays that we can see and ones that we can't see, like infrared rays. And all of these things are attacking our skin silently. And the only thing that can counter that is antioxidants. And what you might not know is that melanin, which is the pigment that gives our skin color, as well as the pigment that creates dark spots and hyperpigmentation, melanin is also an antioxidant. So how it works is like, if you look at your skin, you see some extra freckles, patches, you're darker. What that means is that your skin is actually depleted of antioxidants. So let me try and explain it through this picture of water. So just imagine the water represents the amount of antioxidants that our skin naturally has. All of that is just naturally occurring without even applying skincare. So then let's imagine the sun comes and beats down on us. Then what will happen is for people like Ro, that sun and heat will start to drain the amount of antioxidants that's naturally in our skin. And then let's say we have some sort of hormonal imbalance. So let's say we don't sleep enough. Melatonin can't be produced at the right levels and therefore it drains us even more of antioxidants because our body is trying to find it from somewhere and it's taking it from everywhere that it can. And then let's say you're like me and you have inflammation through acne. So our skin realizes that there is an inflammation there and it needs to start working on it to regenerate new skin and it will use the antioxidants around, drains even more. So then what was once a full picture of antioxidants has now been drained to this much. What our bodies do now is it will produce melanin to try to fill it back up because melanin is an antioxidant. But melanin is brown. So here's my little coffee symbol. So it's gonna try fill up our antioxidant levels again, but we're left with a pigment. So I hope <laughs> my little explanation works, but that's essentially what's happening. So what do we have to do? It's actually skincare. Skincare is the easiest, most quickest and effective way 
to slather some cream, some serum, some ingredients on our skin to replenish and build up our antioxidant levels again with a clear substance. So let's go to my bathroom. So if you haven't guessed, we're going to be talking about skincare ingredients that are antioxidant rich. So this is where Nabuzin comes in. You guys might have seen their typical line, which goes in number form, Nabuzin. You know, find the number that's right for you. But today, we're not going to talk about their typical line. We're going to talk about the special one. This is the Vitamin Concentrated Serum. So the key ingredient of this one is glutathione. And glutathione is one of the most effective antioxidants that inhibit tyrosinase from even forming. That means you're nipping it at the butt before it even signals to the skin that it needs to form melanin. As you can see, this is coming a good time because I'm about a week away from my period. This is when I get the most chin breakouts, acne, and scarring. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like over the next three to five days just to see how much it can lighten this pigmentation. So I'm gonna be using the serum. So it's got this really pretty milky consistency. Oh my God, my Rudolph pimple. I haven't had a pimple on my nose for so long. I love that for me. Then it's got two other tyrosinase inhibiting ingredients. One is tranexamic acid. So we love this ingredient to stop hyperpigmentation, evening out the skin tone. And the best part is it's not irritating. You know, like with vitamin C, it can be very irritating. It's also very unstable and not a lot of skin tones can tolerate it. Tranexamic acid just isn't one of them. It goes with every type of skin. <laughs> So just did the routine with the toner and serum. Just want to show you updates for day two. This scab just came off during the day and now it's just left with that kind of like reddish brown pigmentation. And then I just have like a few more kind of areas to deal with too and the pimple went down. So yes, that is check-in, second day. Yeah. So the day, they're all completely flat now. The skin is very smooth and starting to kind of like exfoliate itself. You know when there's like sometimes a little bit of the area that peels off from the old acne? It's still a little red, but very nice. Doing very well. I just put the toner on and then I'm gonna use the serum. And then the third tyrosinase inhibitor is lingonberry. So lingonberry has a natural form of arbutin. And arbutin, if you ask any derm, they're going to say arbutin is one of the most effective ingredients once again. So those three ingredients in this little bottle is going to target it at its source. The second stage we want to block melanin production is in the melanosomes or just stopping the pigment from traveling up to the surface of our skin. And that's what niacinamide does. So niacinamide is one of those all-star ingredients that we know of that can pretty much do everything. But what people don't talk about much with niacinamide is that it actually reduces the transfer of pigment. So whatever we're not catching at the first stage, niacinamide is there to be like, no! But we also want just to soothe and hydrate, and this has got 5% panthenol. And panthenol is a really great skin barrier friendly and nourishing ingredient. Then the third stage is when we're at the very top. And I'm gonna save that for these pads because what that involves is gentle exfoliation. Good morning. I wanna show you the progress. And look guys, look at that fading. I had like three of them here. Let me remind you, this one was like so deep. It was the one that actually scabbed on my face. It had broken like multiple layers of skin. And look at it, after just four days, all the rest of them also gone. Before and after, right here. Look at it, amazing. And ask any derm, they're going to say gentle exfoliation is also one of the best ways to get rid of the skin that's holding the melanin. And this is what the pad does. I love toner pads. So you can use them just as an exfoliating pad as your toner step, which gives you just a little bit more. Oh, 
On top of all the ingredients that the serum contains, this one has additional LHA, PHA, as well as a little bit of salicylic acid and can be used every day if you really want to. So what you do is pop open this box, which is already super cute. So these pads are actually really interesting because they're like jelly. Guys, I've never used a pad like this, like this texture before and apparently it took them one year to source these pads and patent it so no one else in the world has this kind of texture so on one side is like a jelly it's, and then on the other side is exfoliating gauze but it's still very plush it's like instantly brightening and you can almost double the rate at which your hyperpigmentation and dark spots fade if you do use both if texture is also something that you're facing this is definitely the way to go so I would say if you have problematic skin like acne but also if you have really crusty areas like you know when it feels like the texture is just not cute the pads will help with that but then I'm like serums contain the most potent actives you might not have textural issues but you just want those spots to be gone hasta luego from my face please then the serum for sure why not both I mean, you guys know I wouldn't suggest products that I didn't truly believe in that I really used for myself. And I have seen just the most glowing effects on my face without any sort of irritation. And I love it. <laughs> so to answer the question, why are my dark spots and hyperpigmentation going away? Antioxidants. We just need to boost our antioxidants on the skin again and just find the ingredients that work for our skin. Right, Henry? This is my giraffe. And look at all the hyperpigmentation he's got. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the details will be in the description box, so check that out and hope you learned a thing or two and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye.